Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Hope you're enjoying this rainy day. Um, I want to share with you from 2 Timothy chapter 2, and I love how um, Paul's talking about what a good worker looks like. And he starts off right off at the beginning of the chapter saying, a good worker looks like a, a soldier who listens to his commanding officer. He doesn't get caught up in all the drama that's going on around him. He takes orders from his officer and he listens to him. Um, a good worker is like a hard-working farmer. A good worker is like a competitive athlete that's going for the prize. Um, then he goes on at the end of the chapter by showing, by giving examples of what an honorable vessel looks like and what a dishonorable vessel looks like. He's like he says, now in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. So we know in a great house, that means like, you know, this is a wealthy house. This is a big house. So we can equate that to being the church. Um, the church is God's house. God, um, he owns all of the treasure. He has bought us with a great price. So um, he's the owner of the house. And so he has all these rooms. The vessels are us. Vessels are things that um, can be poured into, can, that can be filled up. And um, so he's, he's, he's talking that these vessels can be used for good things or they can be used for not so good things, dishonorable things. Um, and what makes the difference is if the, if the vessel has been cleansed or not. It says, um, therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. You know, that's what we want to be ready for any good work that he has for us. Whatever he says, we're like, yep, I can do that. And I'm ready because I don't have any bitterness. I don't have any um, other agendas going on in my heart because I have, I have cleansed myself of those things. Um, it's not that we're not, we're going to be, you know, always perfect, always, always good. But my intentions are to please God alone. You know, I want to ask a question. If there, if there was a vacancy, if you had left the church, what would that look like? You know, it's God's intention that we all be used, um, and we all use our gifts um, and steward them well within the body. But uh, many treat their faith um, like a Sunday football game, you know, occasionally um, showing up. You know, but if we are truly wanting to do God's will, we are going to want to be in that football game. We're going to want to be in the battle. We're going to want, we don't, we don't want to settle for being on the sidelines. We want to go for it. So, um, but who does God use? We already read. It's not those that are, have the seminary degree. It's not those that, um, you know, have all the great abilities or have all the knowledge and can and quote all the verses, you know, um, have all the knowledge. You know, we think we have to know all the answers to be used by God, but that's not the truth. It says those that have cleansed themselves. Um, if you back up in this chapter, it says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth, but avoid irreverent battle, babble, I'm sorry, for it will lead people into more and more un ungodliness. So a worker, do your, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed. So again, we want to be a worker approved, one um, ready for every good work. So we want to present ourselves as pure and holy, um, going for it, being the hard work, a hard farmer, um, not getting caught up in the drama, not getting um, lazy um, like a, an athlete who doesn't care whether or not they win and, and get sloppy. We want to go for it. We want to be disciplined. Um, so I got so guys, I just um, I want to want to challenge you to not give up. 
to keep going for it, to pursue holiness, to um, desire to um, want to please God in anything and every good work. And um, yeah, hope you have a great day.